drop a like and subscribe in the next five seconds or this bug is going to be in your shoe when you wake up in the morning. Just a reminder before we get into today's video, I am sponsored by Advanced GG. They sell some amazing products for you when you are gaming. They help you focus when you are playing and it does taste good, so it is a win-win situation. Remember to use code SODA for 10% out at checkout and let me know if you do to get featured in my next video. <laughs> Welcome back to the Soda Channel. What I have for you guys in today's one is going to be all the news, information, leaks, and details surrounding the final Season 9 live event at Polar P. Now with all the news and information, you guys are going to need to watch this whole video to know everything about this Season 9 ending and all the information, so be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video. Before we end up getting into all of that, if any of you guys are new to my YouTube channel and could subscribe, that would mean so much to me. 80% of you guys watching this video are not yet in fact subscribed, so remember to smash that subscribe button, as well as put on those post notifications so you guys never miss out on a brand new video, and if we could smash over 3,000 likes, on this one that would be absolutely insane you guys are absolute legends also i asked you in yesterday's video to comment a number between one and a thousand here is the winner thank you so much for participating and if you guys want to be entered into another shout out all you guys have to do is comment a number between three thousand and five thousand on this video and you'll be getting featured in the next video here on the channel but the Season 9 live event is going to be absolutely insane. We have seen so much news and information come out in the last few hours that this is absolutely crazy. So starting off, let's go back to the Nexus event. When the Volcano did destroy Retail and Tilted, which are now the Mega Mall and Neo Tilted, it also did hit Polar Peak. That was the first area we did see affected with Polar Peak. Now coming into the later days, a few days after the Nexus event, we did see more cracking begin and we are going to be seeing cracking happening so long over this season 9 it is about to be crazy with everything that is revealed. Now we do have some leaked pictures of what Polar Peak is going to look like halfway through this event so here are the pictures of those and that is just going to be crazy with all of that being said we now have the monster inside of Polar Peak with the eye. Now this is not going to be a Cyclops with one eye there's going to be two eyes revealed and with the size of those two eyes literally being the size of the main base of Polar Peak this monster is going to be absolutely crazy and what we do know is that this is not going to be Godzilla because that event would have already taken place. Now if you guys do turn up your game volume all the way you can actually in fact hear the heartbeat of this monster which is crazy. I definitely recommend you guys try that out for yourself because it is honestly going to change your whole opinion on this event and everything like that. Coming next, what we're going to be seeing happening is that we have stages of this event. So the next thing we are going to see is more Polar Peak cracking and the reveal of the second eye. After that, we're going to start seeing the body start coming out of the ice. We're going to see its arms, we're going to see its legs and everything like that. Now what is super, super crazy about all of that being said is that that is just going to be the second small part of the event. This ice monster is literally going to be bigger than Neo Tilted, bigger than Polar Peak. It is honestly going to be bigger than anything we have seen come into Fortnite. Now I know a few of you guys are probably thinking how is Fortnite going to implement this? Well they're going to get it revealed throughout the season and when the live event does in fact take place you guys are about to be like whoa that is crazy. We're going to be seeing it probably break out of the ice if it does not happen before then which will be a later point in two seconds. But more than likely if it is not revealed during the next few weeks of season 9 it will break out during the live event but I want to talk about it breaking out before the live event because we have a bunch of information surrounding that. So when this live event does take place a few days before that you know they always give us a timer and a countdown. What I've predicted and a many other leakers are thinking is that number one it is going to break out and literally fly around the entire Fortnite map while the event is getting ready. So I'd say probably about a week or two before the event it is going to fly around probably drop it some POIs and destroy a few things and I would not put it past Fortnite to make it like the rune event where you have to shoot it in fact for it to move which would have a HP bar on it and I cannot wait to see how 
how they actually in fact implement that because that would be absolutely crazy if they did do that. So when we can expect the event? Okay, so when the coming days of season 9, we have about 60 days left. So probably with about 20 days left, we will see it come out of the ice and when that does in fact happen, we will be able to see everything that is going to happen, all the POIs that the monster is going to fly to or walk to depending on what it is. And then with about 5 days left, we will start seeing the event take place with probably a 12 hour timer on that Saturday. And then after the event does take place, we will probably have a bunch of destroyed locations like we did with Tilted and Retail Row. And then that will lead us into Season 10 and we won't put it past Epic Games to keep this Dragony live for a Season 10 event. Because Fortnite loves keeping in objects fans love and with all this hype around this dragon or whatever it could be so far, the ice monster, if it does live up to its expectations, just like we did see with Kevin the Cube, this will probably be in the game for a few seasons. But talking about Polar Peak, what it will look like after this event is Polar Peak, honestly, if I'm gonna be real with you guys, probably will not be here anymore. I can definitely see Polar Peak getting destroyed by this ice monster and maybe it's a dragon and it does burn down Polar Peak. Now Greasy Grove, let's talk about Greasy Grove and it's returning. So in the Battle Pass, we have a picture in the Battle Pass that does say the Bright Future. Now what the Bright Future does mean is that Polar Peak could get destroyed and we could see Greasy Grove come back. Now I know there is a lot of controversy around Greasy Grove, but that is just me giving you information from the Season 9 Battle Pass itself. So hopefully we do see Greasy Grove come back. Let me know down below if you guys do in fact think Greasy Grove is going to be coming back in the coming days of Fortnite Season 9. Now, now I want to talk about what the Polar Peak monster could look like and everything like that. So number one, we do have a theory that it could be a dragon or something like that. But the other possibility is that it is going to be a tall ice monster. If you guys remember when the Season 9 Battle Pass was getting quote unquote leaked, in the thumbnails they had this ice skin. Now what if the ice skin was four to six times bigger than that and it was a big ice monster? Now we definitely could see something like that happening. We also could see the octopus or a kraken or something like that as that was teased in the season 8 battle pass trailer that definitely could be in polar peak i would not put it past epic games to somehow let that be a thing and a kraken frozen inside of polar peak but with that heart rate and everything like that it does have a lot of people believing that it could be a dragon or a big ice monster but we do not have any really body leaks of what this could be. We're only stuck to the eye and the body with no picture forms or anything like that. We just have two pictures of the eye currently. So when the next update does come out, I am going to be making a follow-up video to this. So have those notifications on so you do not miss any leaks surrounding this brand new ice monster. But it is just going to be insane seeing what does in fact happen. I am going to be rolling some inside clips of what Polar Peak and this eye does look like for you guys. So definitely watch those and I will catch you guys once that is in fact over. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands Through the highways And on
Riding through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways And on So that is what it does in fact look like. I cannot wait to see what happens. Now you guys are thinking, oh my goodness, Soda, there's a cube. Well, I did some research and that is just a placeholder for the events. Speaking of the events, what that does in fact mean is there is one by Greasy Grove. So we could see Greasy Grove be a part of this live event as those white cubes are event placeholders. So that is going to be absolutely insane. Let me know what you guys are thinking about that down below. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next daily Fortnite Battle Royale video here on the channel. Peace out.